What we're seeing here is the first of the production Karma handsets that originally started in the cool room. Mm -hmm. We announced um, one of the years ago we're going to production. This is the first of the production units, and Virgin Atlantic will be the first customer to take delivery of the Panasonic and Karma. And this is handset. when they take their A330s um, early next this year. This is our new thin LCD screen, and what's innovative about this is that it's designed for regional trips. And as you can see, it doesn't protrude into the bag bin in any way, it doesn't cut the bag bin in any way. The projector uh, technology is also on offer. Absolutely. It's a new technology. We've gone with the laser projector, so it's always in focus. You don't have to worry about uh, focusing, or there's no self focus. This is a brand new IFE system um, to help kind of shake up a, a duopoly that's already <laughs> in the market. So, Absolutely. yeah. We're very excited. Uh, we've got a, a unique seat display design. It's a seat centric system, so there's no seat boxes, there's no network architecture that's required to have a VOD system at the seat. Everything is self contained, the operating system, the processor, as well as all the content. So our, our graphical user interface is actually quite simple and very easy to use. Pick a particular guide or option that you want to take a look at, find the movie that you like. Read the synopsis and hit the play button. Revenue generation options are also available. We've got a unique patented design for our seat display units, and this will work in a seat back solution or or a uh, in arm solution. Essentially, if and when a seat display unit actually fails during flight, we have the ability to be able to remove that seat display and replace it within about 60 seconds. Essentially, we take a key, we insert it into the display and the seat display, the removable display unit comes right out. Wow. That's my job as a French company. We are providing a digital delivery service to the entertainment industry. So we started servicing the in-flight entertainment industry about uh, four years ago. So not only digital delivery, but also file repurposing. Uh, this is one of our key value-add service. So our clients can use our service to upload mezzanine files, and we can transcode the, fly, the, the files on the fly. And over here to, to Michael Childers, who's uh, an expert in, in the field of uh, uh, in-flight entertainment content and delivery in the supply chain. Michael, you, you mentioned earlier that this is uh, pretty much the wave of the future. Can you explain why this is the, an important mechanism now for the industry? Yes. The industry has been wanting to move in the direction of network content delivery for quite some time. Uh, the WAA 0403 spec originally began as an effort to establish network delivery. Uh, we got very much involved in some of the details of the codex and uh, much of the attention went there, but uh, network delivery is what that objective has been. So the ability to have a secure content delivery network that begins in a mezzanine file and that bypasses your normal encoding process and transcodes to the specifications of the end user. It's not only more secure, but it's enormously more efficient. Can you tell me what, what does MRSAT do for the uninitiated? Well, everybody who's involved in in-flight connectivity knows us for Swift Broadband and for safety services for the cockpit and stuff like that. But initially, MRSAT started off with safety services for the maritime market. We're also doing loads of things for the land market. Uh, so you, when you see those reports on CNN where it says via video phone, that's most likely to be an InMosat satellite service. Ah, but in terms of in-flight connectivity, um, your latest aeronautical service over the newest satellites, the I-4, is Swift Broadband. Absolutely, that's and the connectivity service. Yeah. And of course, in addition to that, we do the safety services. So by having one antenna on the aircraft, you can use safety services and Swift Broadband at the same time. Ah, I see. So well, that's got to be good news for airlines. It makes it easier only okay, to have one antenna and a rather small antenna on the aircraft. I see, I see. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.